Jackson and Apprentice, and today we will be making felt flower wreaths. If you have ordered a kit from Crafts and Apprentice, in your kit you should have a brass hoop, assorted felt, and a template or a, a pattern that you can use to cut out the various shapes that we're going to work with today. I don't have one printed out in front of me, but you should be able to download it uh, on the website and or uh, it will be available in your kit for purchase. So some things that you'll need from home are a pair of fabric scissors, glue sticks, and a glue gun. If you don't have these things available to you at home, they are available from Crafts and Apprentice as an add-on to your felt making kit. So let's get started. So I want to demo how to use your template. So you're going to cut out your individual petals from your template, place them onto your fabric, and you can do one of two things. You can trace around them with a pencil or you can simply hold it to your fabric and cut around it. All right. So once all of your materials are cut out, that's when you can begin assembly. Quickly, I want to show you what each of your um, petals will look like. Here I have the uh, echinacea leaves, and I need about 10 of them to make a single flower. Here I have daisy leaves, and again, I need 10 of them to make a flower. Here I have the corn flower piece leaves for decorating later on, the sunflower pieces, again, about 10 per flower. The sunflower pieces have this little slit on the bottom, and I'll explain that when we do assembly. We need about five or six of the poppies, uh, the poppy petals to make a single flower, and they too have a slit at the bottom. We need um, one, or two of these um, centers here for poppies and echinacea, and one of the centers for uh, the daisies. I'm going to demonstrate how to make the centers because I feel like they need just a little bit more explanation. So, to make a centerpiece. I'm going to use my template just to get the width correct and cut here. Now I'm going to fold my piece in half and I'm going to hold the fold and cut along the folded edge. So here is my foam and here is the open edge and I'm going to fold them in half, hold the fold closed and then cut on the folded edge. I'm going to cut multiple times, not going all the way to the bottom. Each cut needs to be as close to equidistant from the cut in front of it. And that's how I make the center piece. And I'll talk about assembly for these guys in just a moment. For the, um, excuse my reach, uh, the daisy center piece, Again, you guys will be using your templates, but I'll have my individual templates cut out. And then I'm going to be cutting just tiny 
slits, not all the way to the bottom, across. Just like that. So you have a little fringe at the top of your piece. And you'll do that twice. All right, so let's get to assembly. So I want to demo centers, how to assemble the centers first, since we need these to glue petals to after. So I've got my hot glue gun here. It's all plugged in and warmed up. I have um, a new stick of glue and I have my daisy centers cut and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my daisy center and just roll it up on itself. And these are really tiny. So once I have it put together, the very center, I am just going to add a little bit of glue. To the back. And then I'm going to take my new guy, my second piece here, and attach it. And this time I'm going to add a little bit of glue as I go around. and then tidy up that edge and just glue it down. All right, so now I have my the center of my daisy. I like to just take them and put a little pressure on the top that helps spread out the little leaves, but there we go. There's your little daisy center. Alright, so let's demo the um, poppy centers. So here I have my piece and you can see that it's cut and ready to go. I'm going to fold it in half and take a bead of glue just along this outside edge and pinch it close as I go. So now it is closed, it is glued together. And now I treat this one the same way I did my daisy. I'm going to roll it up, except this time I'm not gonna add the glue to the bottom. I'm gonna glue, add a little bit of glue and roll as I go. get extra gluey at the end. Hold that in place. All right, once the glue is pretty well dry, I'm gonna do the same thing, just press a little bit on the top and that helps give those nice fanny flowers. And I'm trying to, with black, the depth is kind of hard to see, but you can see how it fans out. All right, so with the echinacea, the construction here is going to be the same. We're going to glue the bottom closed. And then the roll-up is going to be different here. Think of um, rolling, think of it as kind of a seashell roll. So I'm starting just a little inside and each time I go a little 
inside. And I'm gonna roll it and show you what it's gonna look like. And then I'm going to glue it to show you. So you can see that this fans out as opposed to laying flat like this one. So um, practicing this roll a couple times before gluing it um, will definitely help. So I definitely recommend gluing the bottom and then practicing the roll up of this one before gluing it. So I like the way this looks. So I'm confident I can uh, do this and glue it at the same time. So I'm gonna do that. So I noticed my glue line is a little uh, higher on this one as opposed to the black one where it's gluing very close to the bottom. I'm gonna hold that last one close and you can see here that uh, I have my cone shape. And now those centers are ready to go. We can start assembly of the flowers. So the first one I'm going to show you how to assemble is the cornflower. So here I have my cornflower cut up and um, I can, I, I'm sure you can tell by this pattern and, and the, the centers we just did. This is just going to be a roll up. So you're just gonna take your flower, glue along the edge and roll it up. So I'm doing this one very quickly and I'll show you guys why just at the end so I'm gonna roll it up let give the glue just a few seconds to dry and then as it is drying I'm going to oops sorry I got off camera there pinch it at the bottom and you'll see that this helps your flower bloom And there you go, you have your first little cornflower. Let's do daisies next. I'm gonna grab my daisy center here. So what I like to do when I'm making uh, felt flowers is do some arranging first. So I might hold my petals onto my center just to get a feel of how they look, how far the separation I want them to be. So maybe I want them a little closer together. And once I'm happy with the way my petals are arranged, then I can start gluing. So I like how those are looking. I like how far apart they are. So I can start gluing them together. And these daisies are as simple as gluing them flat to the back. So I'm gonna do a big blob in the back and place my daisies Many as will fit in the glue blob, and then I'm gonna add need to add a new blob.
let's do the uh, sunflower next. So again, I have these little cuts on the bottom of my sunflower. All I'm gonna do is take one and cross it over the top one. And what this does is make my sunflower sit up just a little bit. If I don't do it, it's gonna lay flat. But if I add it, then it sits up just a tiny bit. You can see flat versus sitting up. So here's a flat one. And here's this one sitting up. All right. So I'm just going to take all of the uh, sunflower petals and glue those bottoms closed. So I made this brown one to use for the sunflowers. And what I like to do with the sunflowers is, see if I can get it all in the shot. Um, what I like to do with the sunflowers is arrange them like a star. So imagine you're making a star. just like that. And then you're going to put other petals, glue them in between. Like that. So again, these are going to be glued um, on the back and you'll notice this guy with the fold in it kind of sits up so that helps curve it around to the front of your piece. So I'll just add a little glue to my piece. And there you have it, a sunflower. And while the glue is still warm, I can still rearrange my leaves a little bit. And again, I kind of just like to take the top and press on it so it spreads out. So let's do the echinacea next. So I have my cone shape here. 
So echinaceas um, flowers do this pretty thing where they kind of fall backwards. So I'm noticing too that our petal just does that naturally. What I just want to make sure and do is that the curve part faces out. So it's curving back and not towards my flower. So again, I'm just gonna take these, hold them in place, see what I like, how close do I want them to be? And once I have a, an idea of how I like them, then I can start gluing. So I'm gonna start gluing. These are going to be placed um, around the bottom and onto the side. So a little bit glued to the bottom and a little bit glued to the side. Unlike the daisy and the sunflower where you just glued it to the bottom, these are coming around the side like this. All right. So I'm just holding these in place till they can do their thing. I'm going back and adding them in between. All right, and there you have your echinacea or coneflower. All right, last but not least, let's do our poppies. So the poppies have a slit on the bottom, just like a, just like the sunflowers do. So again, I'm going to a little glue and overlap them so this makes my petal sit up as opposed to laying flat so I'm gonna do that with four more petals to hold them in place for a second for the glue to dry. Alright, so these 
like the sunflowers and the daisy just sit flat on the bottom. So there's the poppy with four petals. You can squish them up even more and add a fifth. I like the five petal poppies and you can see how they sit on the bottom and slightly overlap. And that's how I'm gonna glue it. There we go. There's the poppy. So let's assemble our hoops next. So here I am with my hoop and my flowers. So in order to make a, an eye-pleasing arrangement, I suggest using two to three big flowers and then um, a few of your corn flowers in any in any color. So I'm going to use my poppy, sunflower, and daisy and I've just set them on my piece like this. You guys can see. And I am liking that arrangement. So now I'm going to add some felt to my hoop so that I can attach those to the hoop itself. So I have some little felt squares in green and what I'm going to do is wrap the felt around and then glue it. So again, I'm just going to wrap the felt around and glue. And one last one, I suggest about three pieces. So there's two, and do one last one. So notice I'm not putting it right on the edge because it's gonna seep out as I press it down. If I need to, I can always go back and add a little more glue. So there we go. And you can see this part flopping up right here. I can just add a tiny bit more glue in there. So now I have a place to put my flowers. So I can start arranging again. I'm gonna show you guys from this angle. So once I have my arrangement made, I can start gluing. So I'm going to use a lot of glue for this phase. I put just a nice big blob on the back of the flowers and then hold them in place. as I'm gluing them. I 
I like to go with the big flowers first. And sometimes these little guys can help hold the big flowers in the place that you like. So I'm gonna leave that guy there to dry. And I'm gonna place my next flower again, just a big blob on the back. Placing it next to my sunflower. And then my daisy, big blob on the back. All right, now I can use these guys to fill in gaps, also my leaves. So I like to put a leaf out on either side. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue I'm sticking to my glue under there, but. I added a little bit of glue to the metal itself. For these, I'm just going to, again, just blob the glue on and then tuck them into my arrangement. And if I want my daisy petals to come up top, I'll just move them. I want this one to go here. So again, I'm just gonna blob on the glue. And tuck it into my arrangement. My last little guy, I think I'll put behind my sunflower here. I'll put a leaf down first. Place that leaf and I'm gluing it to the felt itself. Oh, there we go. I'm gluing it to the felt itself and to the hoop. So I can wrap it at the same time. And then I'm gonna take my piece again, blah, blah, blah. check the back now um, you can see some of the pieces where they might need a little extra glue or just some rearranging to hold them in place so while the glue is still wet I'm just going to hold those in place and make sure they're glued down really well I can also add some leaves to my arrangement from the back glue. So again help keep some of these things in place. one more leaf on this side coming up and I do quick cut leaf and add it to the other side as well
So finally, to do the top. So really quickly, I'll show you the arrangement there. Everything is nice and glued in place. And um, I like to arrange these asymmetrically. So when I place my hook on top, I'm going to lay it down and see how I place the weight of the flowers on one side and the top will be here and this is where I'll place my hook. Now you're welcome to do it like with the weight on the bottom as well. So I suggest doing it one of those two ways. So all of the weight on the bottom equally distributed, meaning like the, the weight of the arrangement here or with it a little asymmetrical and your loop on top. So I will demonstrate how to make your loop next. You'll just need a thin piece of fabric, uh, the color of your choice. Um, this fabric is a slightly thinner than the template uh, that we use to make the fat centers. Just a little bit thinner. So you will place your fabric on top and loop it and glue it to itself about a third of your fabric halfway up and then I like to take it and glue it back down and here I leave this part open so we'll put some glue just at the end here of course I need our glue right at the end and then glue it to itself. Here's where you can experiment with um, whether you want it on top or on the bottom. It's still mobile, but once you like a place, you can put a little glue back into this hole and glue it in glue the felt to the fabric itself. So I can either place it here in that asymmetric arrangement or while it's still mobile, I can place it on top. And once I like it, I'll just add a little glue to the side and glue it in place. So thanks for tuning in. Here we are with our finished product. Stay Stay in touch with Craftsman and Prentice for more crafty how-tos.